Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Beretta APX Carry. Beretta introduced this a couple weeks ago, it took everybody by surprise. They added to the APX line, you know, they have the full size, the compact, the Centurion, and now the APX Carry, which is a single stack 9mm handgun. It replaced the Nano. And many people are welcoming that. Many people like the APX line. Now, it does come with three magazines. Mine did. The Beretta video said it comes with two. Mine came with two six-round magazines and one eight-round magazine with an extended base plate. You can see that with that, you've got a full three-finger contact. And over here, not so much with two-finger. This one maybe a little bit, but not for my hands so when this was introduced palmetto state armory had it for for 525 but yet the msrp is 450 so there's some gouging going on here and i'm a fan of psa but they they sold out really quick now uh i, I purchased this for a little bit under 400 dollars, and uh and i think it will drop even lower than that so what we're looking at here is a polymer frame striker fire single stack nine millimeter it still has the edges along the slide which is consistent with the apx line where you can charge the gun any which way you want to charge it and and that's pretty cool now i've noticed a lot of people really don't care for that i think it's it's pretty cool having said that when i picked up this gun it felt heavy it felt top heavy but when i compared it to the shield and weight with a six round mag it was the same so you can expect the weight to be the same as the mp shield and we'll check that out as well but the the grip is you know apx style pretty nice kind of gritty over on the side panels rather aggressive on the back and the front strap no, nothing to complain about there already talked about the magazines jeez quality built mags all right single stack the the trigger is okay it does have a trigger bar safety in there i measure it just under a six pound trigger pull almost a full reset right there the only difference is right there so you're looking at a true double action apx that first click you hear is not the reset see that click right there it goes a little bit further for the reset one thing that i think looks rather strange is that it, it just comes to a an abrupt stop and it's very squared off see that it does have a three inch barrel uh, you know rounding that off would would kind of be a nice touch maybe a little bit easier for insertion back into the holster but this is it right here it does have a, a serrated blacked out rear sight front dot nice feel to it felt heavy but it really isn't that bad now let's compare it with the shield since i already mentioned that here's the shield all right and we'll look at the barrel length or the slide length i should say a little bit longer with the shield just a just a hair and that's what we're looking at essentially the same with the grip length now this holds seven rounds this current mag is holding six here's a car pm9 all right, one of car's smallest models, so we'll consider that. Also with a three-inch barrel, and you'll see that just a little bit longer with the APX carry, and you know, mo both six-round mags, and a little bit shorter with the car model. But the one thing that is interesting with this is that you know it's a modular frame. So there, there you have the serial number on the trigger component group you could switch out the frame now they do have gray flat dark earth and od green if that is your choice and if you do purchase this before i get off the scale it comes in this box here this is something that many manufacturers are doing now they're putting a little cardboard piece in there and people can hang it on the wall or whatever and a nylon carry bag along with the rest of the paperwork but i want to get this on the scale and uh, show you I'm excited about it I'm just not overly thrilled about it I, I don't know what I was expecting but uh, it's it's definitely okay let's start with the unloaded weight with the magazine 
20 and a half ounces and then the loaded weight with six rounds you're looking at 23 and a quarter ounces but here's the shield with six rounds guaranteed you got to trust me on that 23 and an eighth ounce so essentially the same weight as the shield here's the car pm9 uh 19 so it's under 20 ounces with the car model i want to show you how this disassembles because it's a little bit different kind of reminds me of uh the 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 taurus spectrum disassembles the same way you're just going to take a case or a knife or anything this here you're just going to turn it this way I believe I have that correctly and off comes the slide all right so that right there you're just going to turn it to the left a half turn and then you have a captured recoil spring and a three inch barrel and that's what we're looking at right there all right we'll get a closer look at that so there it is guys APX carry I'm taking this to the range and I'll be shooting this don't overpay for this I'm telling you That should, it now, sometimes it shifts back on its own, other times it doesn't. All right, well, I'll get that thing to uh, to reset. But there it is. Take a look at this uh, in the future because I got a range review coming up very shortly. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.